Fox 2's Jessica Dupnack joins us live with the story. Jess, you got a feel for the neighbors in that area fearing for their safety and their lives. Really a quiet block. Lots of families out here. Uh, now some good news to tell you before we show you that wild video. No one was hurt and it's really amazing because we're talking about some 40 shots fired. Just unbelievable in the middle of the day. Now some homes were damaged, but nothing that can't be repaired. And this evening Detroit police say that three juveniles are in custody. And there was over 36 shots that were fired. Noon last Saturday, signs of that some three dozen bullets duct taped over. Honestly, by great luck that no one was struck inside their homes. The homes were full. A lot of elderly folks, families on this block of Manor near Puritan on Detroit's west side. The scene played out like a movie on a surveillance camera. That displayed to myself watching the video carelessness for the community itself. Detroit Police Captain Philip Rodriguez says it was a shootout between whoever was in this light colored sedan and three juveniles, teenagers. Two of the individuals are captured on video shooting weapons and the third is seen as more of a lookout. It appears whoever was in the car fired first. I believe there was an exchange of verbal altercation with the vehicle that led to the escalation of the use of firearms. A trio of teens ran just two blocks for cover into one of their homes and with the community's help, police tracked them there and a treasure trove of evidence. We went inside and recovered two handguns and numerous rounds of ammunition along with extended magazines. Believed to be used in the shooting and those teens in custody facing some serious charges. It's not a instance where you can take pulling that trigger back. Just a scary situation and you heard that Detroit police uh, they have made those arrests and they relied on the community's help. They're relying on the community's help for another arrest they want to make. They want to find the suspect or suspects that was in that light colored sedan. They're also saying tonight if you know what happened, if you were in that vehicle, turn yourselves in, explain your side of things. For now, reporting live on Detroit's west side, Jessica Dupnak, Fox 2 News.